Hi everyone, welcome back to the final part of the Book One Cozy's Club chapter by chapter for Haunted Homicide, the first book in the Haunted Mansion Mystery Series by Lucy Ness. I'm Di and this is my audio only reading vlog for this book. Today I will be reading chapters 21 through 23 and sharing my thoughts with you along the way. Due to the nature of this reading vlog, there will be spoilers. So if you haven't read these chapters yet, I suggest that you not listen to this recording until you have. If you would prefer to hear my general thoughts on this book in its entirety, keep an eye out for my Book One Cozy's Club series first impressions video, which will be posted sometime after the reading vlogs for this book have commenced. So how is everybody doing this evening? I am doing well. I am really looking forward to seeing how this story is going to wrap up. And I think that's pretty much all I have to say right now. So I'm going to dive into chapter 21 and I will be back with you when I have finished the book. So I just finished the book. I have to say I wasn't really surprised with the killer reveal. It was definitely something that was bouncing around in my head from the beginning. I think um, I did mention something about that in the earlier chapter by chapters on this one. So yeah, kind of a little bit disappointed in how this ended. However, it definitely still held my interest to the end. Who do you think that apparition was that appeared towards the end? Do you think it was Muriel? It's not really clear. I would say it was probably Muriel since Oz seemed to recognize the apparition or whatever it is that he saw but I thought that was a nice touch to the story <laughs> a little bit of um, payback if you will I definitely liked how things wrapped up in the end I will tell you that I have already ordered a copy of the next book in this series so I will definitely be continuing it I didn't really enjoy Jack too much towards the end. He was kind of standoffish towards the end. I wonder if we will see him in the next installment. Seeing that he was there for a restoration project. And I would think that eventually the restoration project will be done. So... Yeah, I'm curious to see how long Jack will be around. And overall, I'm still very happy with this reading experience. So, before I close this chapter by chapter out, I do want to let you know what the June selection will be. I did pull it out of the Book One Cozy's Club jar. So the selection that I pulled out was Pleading for Mercy, the first book in the Magical Dressmaking Mystery Series by Melissa Bourbon. It seems like there is a supernaturalist theme going on at the moment. Um, first with the Haunted Homicide and now with the Magical Dressmaking. From what I can understand of the little bit of the summary I read, so from what I gather in this one, we are following a woman who comes home after her grandmother dies and opens up a dress boutique, hence the dress making mystery series. But you'll notice that it also says magical. So I believe there is going to be some kind of element of magic or maybe a spirit. Um, I believe I did see something about a spirit as I was skimming. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, 
Let me know what you thought of this book in its entirety. Will you be joining me for the June selection? Don't forget that other than commenting down below, you can also chat with me in our Goodreads group and in our Discord. And that will do it for me for this chapter by chapter. So I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.